Bonjour guys, welcome to our very first FIFA 19 Futmas video. Today we're gonna help you to see what is Futmas and tell you guys our best investment for now. What can you expect as well? So bros, if you enjoy today's video, drop a like, make sure you do subscribe to stay updated with what's happening on the market on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. What is Futmas? Futmas is basically the December promotion that EA Sports create yes. to bring a ton of SBC, a lot of promo packs, and it's generally a cool time of the year, at least in my opinion. Yes, because that's the way bros EA Sports will sell their game for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas is a huge promotion for any type of company, for any industry in the business to make a lot of money. Therefore, Fitmas, EH Sports will not do a, a, a um, will not do a bad promotion like the Halloween promotion. EH Sports will do it big in FIFA 19. Yes. In today's video, bros, we're gonna help you to invest in the right type of players. Like that, you guys can make loads of coins. Before, bros, we're just gonna tell you to invest into a lot of informs. Yes. What do we mean by this? We're gonna quickly show you our club and to show you which type of informs we do already have in our club. As you can see, boss, we do have Pavlenka Moy that we uh, that we yeah that we packed that we, that packed we, packed. we didn't English sell him. Award, we yeah. didn't sell him. We do have as a Luis Adriano. We do have Pandev. Those are those uh, discount inform that uh, generally not a lot of people take a look at. But whenever there's gonna be some uh, SBC and uh, in those SBC some uh, discount inform will be required. You can expect those discount inform to go at least. To 17, 18,000 coins. Yes, so this is what you guys have to know is that for Futmas, there's gonna be daily squad building challenge. We don't know yet if EH Sports is gonna do like previous years where they're gonna do create some players SBC for each day. If that happens this year again, that would be really cool. EH Sports might change a little bit though because EH Sports like to mess up with investors in FIFA 19, but I can see EH Sports. For sure, bringing on daily SBCs. So, in FIFA 17 and in FIFA 18, we had couple decent big players. In FIFA 17, we have Modric, yes. Aubameyang. In FIFA 18, I think we did have Paulinho, Paulinho, Fabinho, Fabinho. That we used during the entire FIFA 18 uh, season, basically, yes. and it was super cheap to complete. In FIFA 18, we did as well see Virgil Van Dijk, Cesar yes. Spilicueta, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So those are some big players to put into some SBCs. Therefore, bros, as well, after investing into some couple discount informs uh, that we're gonna quickly show you run on the transfer market that you can really check on uh, on Foodbin. You can see really what are the discount, what are the cheapest informs on the market. As you can see, Luis Adriano is a good one because yeah. of his nationality. You can link him up pretty easily because he's Brazilian and it will cost you less, more or less 14,000 coins on the Xbox market, maybe a little bit more on the PlayStation 1. I don't really know how on Xbox. But yeah, bros, after in investing into some discount inform, I will strongly advise you to invest into some 86, 85, 84. Those are the type of player, bros, you want to invest in one. Yes, indeed. So, talking back to the informs, bros, quickly is that the informs were required for each and every single one of the SBCs. Therefore, uh, make sure you guys pick a player, I would advise you to pick a player with a decent nationality, Argentinian, Brazilian, Spanish, a good nationality to, to get a links around him. And definitely bros, 81, 82, 83 rated. The best one for us, at least for now, is Luis Adriano. He's Brazilian and he's playing as a striker. Therefore, you can get some high rated Brazilian players near him. Yes. And he's actually pretty cheap at the moment after bros. Um, some people might see this video and might like buy all of the Luis Adriano. This is not what I ask you to do, bros. It's just to be smart and go on Fubin and take a look at the best informed players for the nationality and position. And yes. the league will be really important. For example, someone like Butali is French, he does play in the league one. You can link him up pretty easily if we put someone like Rami in the center back position and someone like Kipembe as well. You can have uh, three players with a lot of chemistry. Yes. And uh, with, uh, with a rating at uh, 82 rated. Therefore, bros, with free player having an 82 rated overall, it's, uh, it's good for SBC. So, indeed, Butel will be a great player as well to invest. Exactly, this is what we want to say, bros. It's definitely pick up some informs that can get a decent chemistry around them. Now, as Vincent said earlier, it will be the high rated uh, player 88, 87, 86. We are not sure yet if EH Sports is gonna bring out a team of the group stage. 
uh, promotion if they do there's gonna cause a little bit of a market crash because yes. we will see some huge player in the team therefore people will open a lot of packs to pack them of course therefore if you do have if there's a team of the group stage the first day make sure you guys pick up some 86 85 87 yes. reddit players they will be cheap at that time and they will be needed for the upcoming Figma's SBC 84 Reddit players, it's exactly the same bros. Make sure you pick up a ton because those players will go up so so much because bros, I can guarantee you right now we're gonna see some more team of the week SBCs, we're gonna see some more uh, 81 plus SBCs, all that good, all those good SBCs that people thrive, you know what I mean, in FIFA 19, therefore yes. bros, definitely pick up some 84s, 83s, those type of players Right now, I'll, I will advise you to wait a couple more days because there is the current flashback of Daniel Alves. Yes. And there's a little bit of hype around Daniel Alves exactly. right now. So therefore, the, some of the prices of some 83s, 84, 85 Reddit players are a, a bit hype. inflated. Uh, bros, if fit mass does happen in FIFA 19, which most likely will happen at 99% chance, it will, uh, it will happen the 15th of December. Yes. December 15th. So uh, you still have like what? 12 more days until the, have time. Yeah, until the event happens and uh, in those 12 days, I reckon there will be a, a promotion like I mentioned, the team of the group stage. Therefore, that will be the perfect moment goes to pick up those 83, 84, even 85 Reddit players. Now, next uh, players we will advise you guys to potentially take a look at and definitely we will take a look at as well will be the Scream cards. Uh, our good friend e is also a YouTuber. Uh, well, he said that like EH Sports didn't require any SBCs with Scream players and he's totally right. EH Sports so far have required zero SBC concerning the Scream players and as well, most importantly, the ones to watch players. So if you do have a lot of coins, yes, I will potentially advise you guys to pick up a couple Scream players that have decent nationality or they are playing in a decent league. For us, right now, the best player in our eyes will be Rafinha. Why Rafinha? Because he's only 16, 15, 17k. He is Brazilian and he plays in the Bundesliga. Therefore, bros, that could be quite of a risky investment, I will say. But you gotta know that there will be no, uh, in, there, will, there are no impacts anymore. Therefore, their price will continue to rise, especially if Rafinha gets like a, a shape booster. If yes. uh, he gets 90 plus pace, is that core could be hell of interesting. So, boys, for us, we're gonna invest even right now. Let's buy a couple of Rafinha bros because I think this could be a great investment. At least for us, we're gonna have couple in the club in case they drop and they require a screen player. But bros, most importantly, bros, just to, to take a look at those scores, see what's the best for your budget. Someone like Kalu as well could, could be pretty interesting yes. because he also played in the Bundesliga. So boys, definitely take a look at those screen players. Couple Premier League screen players will be Ampadu, Mings. Mings could be pretty interesting because he's a left back. Left back are always like a position that you want to take a look at because the fullbacks, yeah. yeah, there's not too many high rated players in the fullback position, so definitely uh, take a look at those players. Tyrone Mings, I think he's around 20k ish. I could be wrong, yeah, he's at one, around 20k, yeah, bros. That's a predicted 18 17k. So, why not pick up one of, uh, of those screen players? 17k, yeah, let's buy him, let's buy him a Premier League player. That's good for us, that's good for the club. Especially if you guys have a lot of coins, definitely get ready for Fitmas. That will be the best way possible. And one type of players that I really want to mention as well. Make sure you guys be patient with those players will be the UCL cards. The UCL cards will be, in my opinion, they will be required for the upcoming SBCs because EA Sports love to require those UCL cards. Why? Simply for the reason that there's a lot of them on the market due to like people opening those UCL yes. SBC packs and as well people do have, uh, does have a lot of them in their club as untradeable so this is a great way for EA Sports to, to put them and to require them to, on those SBC. Yeah, to recycle them basically. Exactly. So someone like Tagawu is any for a decent, uh, decent league which is the Bundesliga for only, for only 6,000 coins I reckon it will be a great investment. I will, I will say I'm gonna buy one. Only one because after we don't want to as well 
like invest all of the coins right now because Figma is a great period, yes, but we still want to upgrade the team uh, for the short term. Mm -hmm. Therefore, both we're gonna keep at least 250,000 coins to upgrade our team, just to let you know. But we're still investing into like more than five or six Luis Adriano. So we're gonna make loads of coins, we're gonna sell them at the right moment, we're gonna we're gonna keep them into our transfer target, bros. One more thing I would like to mention is wants to watch. Yes. Just for the fact, bros, that Rana wants to watch, nobody takes a look at them. I'm gonna take the example of someone like Salif Sane. Salif Sane does have a wants to watch in FIFA 19. His current wants to watch is less than 12k. Uh, actually, no, that's not it's, it's, I think it's more or less 15k now. 50K. It's 15 it blows up a bit, yeah. People start investing in those cards uh, because they think that we think as well they might be required, but make sure you guys being patient with those yeah. because as you can see, when people over invest in those cards, well, that could be pretty dangerous for you boys as well to invest in those. For us, we have purchased our Salif Sané like a couple, few weeks ago for like 12k. Yes. Right now, we can sell him for 17k. We're gonna hold to, uh, to, uh, to Sané for now because it's better to be safe than to, to buy those players when they're actually required for the SBCs because this is where you overpay for them. Salif Sané right now is a little bit high. I will not yeah, advise yeah. you guys to go uh, on those ones to watch for now. Just wait until let's say like few days until like maybe the, the team of the group stage the team of the group stage yeah we don't know yet if it's gonna come bros of course we don't know if it does wow bros that would be a great moment for you bros to, to invest right now into some informs some high rated players some special cards for fitmas because bros team of the group stage will create a market crash last year after the black friday on fifa 18 the price rose up like crazy same as they are right now in fifa 19 is it sports uh, we want to counter that uh, that inflation with another market crash. So, bros, definitely, team of the group stage will be the way for them to create and to like inverse the the prices of some players because right now the price are really, really, really high. This is something you gotta know, is yeah. that it's really high at the moment. Therefore, EA Sports will want to do something around this. Maybe another icon SBC that doesn't require an icon with some high rated cards potentially, but bros. One thing you gotta know is that right now, make sure you are getting ready for food mass. We still have a little bit of our 10 days, so it's not right now, but we want to put this in your mind yes. so that there you guys can make a lot of coins on food mass. Honestly, boss, that's a great period for FIFA investors, for traders to make a lot of coins, especially I know you guys love to make coins, and that's a great way for us, bros, if you invest right now to make a lot of coins really easily just buying the cards. Keep them in your club, maybe put them for, list them for lazy buyers. Mass is the last promotion before Team of the Year. As well, Team of the Year since in a long time, it's it's, a, it's an approximately a in, in a month. That's crazy. Just make sure bros as well to, to keep this in your mind, Fit Mass will be the last big promotion by EH Sports before Team of the Year. Yes, indeed. So bros as well, make sure you check out our Player of the Month Premier League investing guide. If you guys have any question regarding the Player of the Month, we're gonna leave that uh, potentially in a little card or as well in the in the comments or in the description. So bros, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if it's not already been done. So bros, it's been your boy Liam. My name is Vincent. See you guys tomorrow. Au revoir.